I worked for another company uh, out of Devers. Um, we fed a lot of cattle. We uh, we background a lot of cattle, and I think we were buying three or four loads a week. And uh, I just kind of had a vision and a dream one day to kind of do it on my own. And uh, when we did that, LNC was we were already in business with them, and they kind of helped me get set up and get going. I'm Kobe Elliott from Hull, Texas, and uh, we run a feed yard. About we run about 300 yearlings. Uh, a weaning season through here. So uh, what we do is we take in cattle on, in about uh, October and we'll start weaning them, get them on medicine and get them started on feed. And we'll feed them about 60, 90 days and get them ready for grass. Or uh, a lot of, we do a lot of replacement heifers here. So uh, the guys will send them to us, we'll get them straightened out and then get them ready for breeding season and get them back to the owners uh, around, around March, April. Get them ready for the bulls. My brother-in-law, he, he raises and trains the bucking bulls and, and buys and sells and uh, they have partners and... Well, just like a football player or a basketball player, these animals, you know, they're, they're tested day in and day out. And so what, just like a person, what you put in is what you get out of it. And so if you're, eat, if you're not eating good feed, you probably ain't gonna buck very good. So with LNC, it's just a one-stop shop. We can make the call, and uh, I know we we got some higher-end cattle that you know the bucking bulls that we can feed a, a little hotter blend to if we need a hotter blend, and then the you know your replacement heifers you don't have to be as hot on, you know your feed mix for those guys. So uh, those guys are always a phone call away for us. So I don't it takes a lot of the thinking out for me, and I don't have to hire a nutritionist. I just hire LNC. <laughs> All our feed's fresh, and, and I think that is the life of the cattle. If you can get good fresh feed in them, you know, uh, you can doctor all the cattle you want, but if they're not eating good feed, they ain't gonna make it. And so we've seen that time and time again where we just want good fresh feed every, every time we're putting it out. It's vital to what you feed those cattle, that those bulls that will, that will make or break them in the end.